All right, in this tutorial, we're going to look at computations uh, through a table. All right, so we've got output levels of zero units up through 10. We have a total cost column and a fixed cost column and a variable cost column. And if you notice, the total cost of $3 is equal to the fixed cost of $3 and the zero cost of variable that is at the output level of zero units. So if we don't produce anything, we still have $3 of cost, which is by definition what a fixed cost is. And then as we work our way down the rows, we can see if we produce three units, it has a total cost of $4.50, which is the $3 of fixed cost plus $1.50 of variable cost. Now we're going to look at computing the averages for um, each of the different categories and then the marginal cost. So for average fixed cost, that's going to be the fixed cost amount divided by the output, and output is the same as Q. So for average fixed cost, when we produce one unit, it's $3 divided by 1, which gives us $3. And when we have two units, it's $3 divided by 2, which is $1.50 and so on and so forth. And so the more units we produce, the lower the average fixed cost because it's always $3 being divided by a bigger and bigger and bigger quantity. So you should always see the column values getting smaller and smaller as you work your way down the rows for average fixed cost. Now we're going to look at the average variable cost. And for average variable cost, we're going to take the variable cost and divide it by the number of units. And so when we have 30 cents for the first unit, divided by 1, it's 30 cents. But for an output quantity of 2, we have 80 cents divided by 2 gives us 40 cents. And so the average variable cost is increasing with the amount of output. And that's pretty common as well because as you uh, produce more units, you typically incur more costs at an increasing rate. You've got to speed up your machines. You've got to pay people for overtime. And so this increasing amount of average variable cost is also pretty common. Now we're going to look at average total cost. And what we see with average total cost is that it's the sum of the average fixed and the average variable. So we're going to see $3 plus 30 cents is going to give us $3.30. Or we can take the total cost and divide it by the number of units, which is 1, and it's $3.30. And so you can see that the average total cost starts high and then gets smaller and smaller, and then it hits a mi minimum point at $1.30, and then it starts to increase again. And that has a lot to do with what is known as efficient scale, that for a given factory, there is sort of this magic level of output that minimizes the average total cost, where you're operating at your most efficient size. And you can produce more units, but in order to do so, it's going to be costing you more on a per unit basis. So we're going to see that average total cost will always start high and get low and then increase again. And it's because the ATC column is the sum of the AFC and the AVC. And because the average fixed costs, the AFC, are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, that at first average total cost is going to decline. But over time, as we increase output, the average variable cost continues to get hot, larger and larger and larger. And so ATC, the average total cost, is the blending of the two of these curves. And it's going to be falling hitting a minimum, and then rising. We're going to get to see what that looks like graphically in another screencast. And last, we're now going to look at, there's that minimum for ATC, and now we're going to look at the marginal cost. And marginal cost is computed by the change in the total cost to the um, over the change in the quantity. And so total cost, when we're going from zero units to one unit, is going from $3 to $3.30, so $0.30, cents, and then $0.50. Cents. And so marginal cost in this example is continuously increasing. Sometimes we'll see it fall and then increase, but it must always increase. And it will always intersect the average total cost 
at the minimum at $1.30 in this case. And so that number six units of output, that is the efficient scale for this firm. They should produce at, a dollar, at a six units per period, and they would minimize their average total cost if they were operating at that level of output. And so now I want you to complete the AFC, AVC, ATC, and MC computation assignment, submit it to the Dropbox, and bring it to our next class.